Patrick Murphy. I represented this area in the U.S. Congress. Uh, I'm an Iraq War veteran uh, and live right down the road. I uh, appreciate all being here. Um, afterwards, we're going to treat everybody to the Rendelli Hoagie and the Wawa. Afterwards, uh, <laughs> that's okay. Um, we have five great speakers today, uh, and and they're about to start off. But we want to say a couple things from the the top. One. Uh, we all know that Mitt Romney said he was coming to this Wawa today. Uh, now we're not sure if he's coming. Uh, he doesn't like to answer tough questions from you uh, or the citizens of Bucks County or across our country. Uh, he dislikes uh, stage press conferences without question. So we don't know if he's actually going to come or not. Uh, we hope he does, but I guess we'll see and time will tell. Uh, secondly, uh, let's make it very clear that Mitt Romney's plan is tricking trickle-down economic plan is a disaster. It was a disaster in Massachusetts, where they went from 36 in the country in job creation to 47. Uh, it was a disaster for our teachers, our cops, our firefighters there. And it's just, it would be a disaster if you would take over the White House. We cannot let that happen. Secondly, it has a genuine effect on people here in Bucks County. People like Tom Connor. Tom Connors lives down the road. Tom Connors, Tom Connors works at Mack Trucking in uh, McKenzie. Tom Connors' son Casey works at this Wawa. Tom Connors was unemployed for a couple years. Was really struggling. Uh, he would be here today, but he's camping right now, uh, and he's on his way back to try and get here. But Tom Connors is back to work. We're up the road at Mack Trucks. In the last couple of years at Mack Trucks, they've doubled their workforce to 1,600 people including Tom Connors, who's out of work. We can't go back to those failed economic policies. We have speakers today that will talk about just that. And lastly, you know, my father was a cop in Philadelphia for 22 years and a Navy veteran. He used to tell my brother, sister, and I, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Barack Obama stands for something. He stands for better America and employees, everyday Americans. He looks out for us. Not just for the wealthiest billionaires and multi-millionaires. We need to make sure that we support leaders like Barack Obama. Now, our first speaker today to kick it off is Linda Weaver. Linda Weaver and I worked together hand in hand for so many years. She's a special education teacher at Bristol Township, the township that I live in here in Bucks County. Linda, can you just talk about uh, your vision and, and what you'd like to talk about? Okay, thank you. Let's give her a round of applause. He just doesn't get it. 
It's not a system that would benefit our children, and like so many of his policies, his priorities are out of whack. President Obama wants to invest in good teachers, promising sources of energy. He wants to create more jobs here in America and lead the world in innovation. Mitt Romney wants to fire teachers, give taxpayer dollars to big oil, ship jobs overseas, and, and seed new ideas to countries like China and India. The president believes we need to invest in the middle class to create more jobs and grow our economy. He knows we need to invest in education. Romney believes we should go back to the same failed policies that benefited a few, but devastated many and crashed our economy in the first place. He threw the middle class under the bus, and we can't let that happen. I now want to return it to Patrick Murphy. Thank you. We're going to try and keep it short and sweet, but we, we are blessed to have uh, Kathy Pork for you. Kathy is an attorney lives down the road in Willstown Township. She's our congressional candidate and our next congresswoman from Bucks County. Uh, and with no further ado, Kathy Pork for you.